Prince Edward was 12 and his brother Richard 9. When they found out that their father, Edward IV, who was King of England, had died. Edward had been living at Ludlow Castle for much of his short life and was being raised to be the next King of England, supervised by his uncle, Anthony Woodville, the second Earl Rivers, who was his mother's brother. Edward had been given his own household when he was three years old. His days were meticulously planned out with religion, education, physical activities, strictly observed mealtimes, and fun thrown in for good measure. But in one swift moment, Edward, who was just about to enter his teens and some 200 miles away from London, and his parents' life would change forever. It took five days for the messengers who had gone as fast as they could to reach Ludlow Castle to give Edward the news of his father's sudden death. The last will that was drafted before the king's death had his brother, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, as Edward's protector and the Lord Protector of the realm of England until Edward would come of age and was able to rule England on his own. This will also meant that Edward's uncle, Earl Rivers, would be removed from his duties as governor, and his mother would have almost no power at all. Several meetings were held to discuss whether, since Edward was already 12, should he not be crowned immediately? A coronation date was agreed upon and fixed. Edward had already been announced as the new King of England and was summoned to London to be crowned King. Edward's mother demanded that he be brought to London by armed guard, and so he set out with his uncle Earl Rivers and 2,000 men to London from Ludlow. At the same time, Edward's other uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, had brought a group of his own men to take Edward to London themselves. The two parties ended up meeting and Richard took possession of the young king, arrested his entourage, and headed to London. Edward was placed in the Tower of London along with his younger brother, Richard. The two were never seen again. The mystery of the disappearance of the two princes from the Tower of London has been unsolved for more than five centuries.